Hello, my name is Corey. I'm a product specialist at Fricata, and this video will cover mobile credentials. Mobile credentials offer a convenient, hassle-free way for users to access doors. No physical keys or cards needed. Instead, they can simply use their mobile devices. Fricata supports both Bluetooth and NFC mobile credentials, and I'll walk you through the benefits of each while showing you how to configure them in Vercada command. Vercada's Bluetooth unlock feature enables users to securely and conveniently unlock doors with Vercada readers using their smartphones. Administrators can customize the unlock experience by adjusting the required proximity between the device and the reader and selecting which doors support Bluetooth unlock. To set up Bluetooth unlock, Start on the Access home page and click the Access Settings gear icon. Ensure that you have Enable Bluetooth Unlocked toggled on to activate the feature for your organization. You can also toggle Auto Enable Bluetooth for new users to automatically grant Bluetooth credentials to all new users. We will discuss the other ways to grant users access to Bluetooth credentials shortly. Now that you have enabled Bluetooth Unlock for your organization, you can enable it for specific sites. Navigate to the Access Home tab and click on Settings. Select the site where you want to enable Bluetooth Unlock. Toggle Enable Bluetooth Door Unlock for that site. Finally, enable Bluetooth Unlock for individual doors within that site. Go to the Doors tab and select a door. Under Settings, toggle on Bluetooth Unlock under the Vercada Pass section. You can also configure the Bluetooth cooldown for this door or the delay between subsequent Bluetooth Unlock attempts from the same phone. You can also toggle Beep on Bluetooth Unlock to decide if the Vercada reader beeps each time a Bluetooth Unlock is attempted. For AD31, AD32, and AD33 readers, you can configure Bluetooth unlock proximity, which adjusts the required distance between the phone and reader. Immediate requires the phone to touch the reader. Near requires the phone to be around two to three feet from the reader. And far requires the phone to be seven to eight feet from the reader. For fourth generation and newer readers, the intent to unlock feature adds further customization. This allows admins to specify both the phone's proximity and the distance of an object, like a hand, in front of the reader to trigger an unlock. This ensures the door is only unlocked when a user intends to enter, as opposed to potentially unlocking if a user carries their phone behind the door and the Bluetooth signal still reaches the reader. For example, on an AD34 reader, navigate to the door's settings, then under Vercada Pass, configure Bluetooth Unlock Trigger. Presets include Bring Phone to Reader, which requires the user to hold a phone a few inches in front of the reader. Approach and Wave, where the user can keep the phone in their pocket, but must wave their hand in front of the reader. Approach, where the user can keep the phone in their pocket and walk within a couple feet of the reader. And even Drive Up, where a user can drive up with their car within a couple yards of the reader, useful for gated parking lots and garages. Furthermore, for more fine-grained control, click Advanced to select the distance of the mobile device as well as the distance of the object from the reader required to unlock. Alongside Bluetooth mobile credentials, Fricada also supports mobile NFC credentials, including an Apple Wallet integration and NFC for Android. This feature brings the same level of security as tap to pay for credit cards, allowing tap to unlock for doors. With Vercada's mobile NFC credentials, you can require the phone to be unlocked via face ID, passcode, or fingerprint before unlocking the door to give you an additional factor of security. Vercada's integration with Apple Wallet also includes a few unique features. You can add the Vercada Pass to the wallet on your Apple Watch for a true hands-free unlock experience. Also, 
With Apple's built-in reserve power feature, you can continue to use your Verkata Pass in your Apple Wallet for several hours even after your phone battery dies. Note that to use Verkata's mobile NFC credentials, an additional license is required per user. Also, Verkata Pass on Apple Wallet is supported on all third generation and newer Verkata readers, while NFC for Android is supported on all Verkata readers. To set up mobile NFC, click the product menu, select admin, and click manage mobile NFC. Here you can toggle on mobile NFC unlock for your organization and review the Apple Wallet mobile NFC terms. Now mobile NFC credentials can be used at any door that has NFC unlock enabled. To enable NFC unlock, navigate to a particular door, click settings, installer settings, and ensure that NFC unlock is toggled on. Now click on Verkata Pass. Here you will see an option to allow users to badge in with a locked phone. If enabled, users can badge in with their mobile NFC badge without unlocking their phone. This setting can also be configured at the site level within site settings and at the organization level within access settings, similar to how Bluetooth unlock is enabled at these different tiers. Now let's see how to enable mobile credentials for individual or multiple users. For a single user, click on the Access Users and Groups tab, select the user, click Profile, and click Verkata Pass. Toggle on Bluetooth Unlock and Mobile NFC for this user. To enable mobile credentials for multiple users at once, navigate back to the Access Users and Groups page, select the checks boxes for all the users you would like to enable mobile credentials for, then click the Bluetooth or NFC icons to enable credentials for the selected users. You can also use a CSV import to enable mobile credentials for many users at once. To use this for existing users, I recommend first exporting your current list of users by clicking Export, Export Users. Upon clicking Continue, a CSV download link will be sent to your email address which you can then edit to enable the appropriate mobile credentials for certain users. Change the values under the Bluetooth Unlock and Mobile NFC columns to true or false accordingly. Now click on Import, Import Users, and instructions will guide you through the CSV import process. Finally, you can also enable Bluetooth Unlock for a user with Verkata's API. For more information on Access APIs, see the Access APIs video, which is linked in the description. Once activating mobile credentials for a user, you can then send that user an email invitation to download the Verkata Pass app via their user profile, Access Users and Group page, or via API so that they can set up mobile credentials on their device. For more information on Pass app setup, see the Using the Verkata Pass app videos which are linked in the description. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.